So don't tell me you ain't got it or you can't do something Yeah, everybody's spitting but they ain't saying nothing I'm just trying to make a difference, give you something to think about I ain't worried about a status or some goddamn clout If you see me in the streets, don't be afraid to shout them But I'm out Yo, 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 yo What's up? What's good with all my bull lifers out there, man? Alright, so super duper quick video in yesterday's game versus the new orleans pelicans when we faced off against zion williamson and them right we got our butts kicked so it was one of those games where i wasn't really tuned into it like i watched the first half you know even though that was a little bit hard you know i watched a little bit of the second half but after a while it just got it just turned into one of those games where i was super bored with super like just like i'm, I'm over this game so let me you know start doing something else basically right and like i didn't even watch the end of the game i didn't even watch the end of the game but after like looking at like reports and stuff like that today i'm I'm noticing that everybody going crazy about this Makoka dude and what he did and all that during the garbage minutes of yesterday's game, right? So I go check out the highlights and Shorty went crazy. Adam Makoka was looking like Adam McGrady out there. Like he legit went six for six from the field and three for, for three at the three point line. And looking at what he actually was doing out there on the floor. So like looking at his form, his form actually looked pretty decent. Like he came out of nowhere for me because I knew that he was with their G League team and all of that and you know uh, Jim Boylan just actually had a sound bite with his name in it just the other day when he took that uh, timeout in Toronto and all of that you know like so I knew of Adam Makoka but he was nothing of significance and not necessarily saying that he is right now either but nonetheless that just begs the question like you know do we have like a little bit of something in Adam Makoka? Can he be a guy that we can use in a rotation? Now, I don't expect Jim Boylan to use him the correct way, but after looking at some of the things that he was doing out there on the floor, giving him the eye test, he actually has the swagger of an NBA player. When you look at how he was coming off of uh, screens, running to the corner for the three, knocking it down, wide open three, knocking it down. He wasn't afraid of a man running toward him. He kept his poise and actually knocked the three down. Then you saw another instance where he came off a screen from the top of the key uh, with Felicio, got to the basket, got around the defender, got to the basket and hit an and one layup for Deuce. I'm not necessarily saying that he's like gonna come and be this really good rotational piece for us right off the bat. Sometimes you have a lightning in a bottle and these guys make it to the NBA for a reason, right? But I'm just saying, looking at how, looking at his swagger out there, looking at the fact that he actually had the poise to knock down a couple shots, given the fact that he took advantage of the opportunity that he was given. That's how you have guys like Spencer Dinwiddie, guys like David Nwaba, who came from the G League. Now he has a contract with a legitimate NBA team and all that, right? Guys who come from the G League and they actually take advantage of the spotlight of the tick that they're given, those dudes you shouldn't look over. You definitely shouldn't look over them. And that's why I'm saying, I think that we should look a little bit more into Makoka as opposed to just looking at him as a bench warmer at the end of the bench. Sadly, I don't necessarily expect Jim Boylan to try to see if there's a little bit more to this guy, but, but what if Adam Makoka can be a decent rotational piece? He obviously has the confidence that you have to give him. And like I said, it could have been just lightning in the bottle, especially given the fact that he went six for six, like he just couldn't miss out there. But nonetheless, he's coming off of the bench. He didn't play not one minute in that game, but he gets in and in just five minutes, this dude drops 15 points. There has to be a little something to that. He's in the NBA for a reason because he can play some ball, right? So I don't think this is necessarily something that we should just look over. Again, not that he's gonna be a world beater or come in and just, you know, change all of our problems for, for good, right? But nonetheless, we are a team that is very injury riddled and we are lacking wings. 
and that's what Adam Makoka is. He is a wing, six foot five, six foot six wing that we could actually use at the small forward position. And hell, I look at this season like it's a wrap anyway. So I figured they may as well throw him out there and see if he can have some sort of consistency with this. So I don't know. I don't think we have anything to lose. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Does Adam Makoka have a heater? Is there something to Adam Makoka? Hopefully we shall see, but I don't necessarily expect us to. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it, y'all. Like I said, it was going to be a real quick video. I just had to just get my thoughts out about the Makoka kid. He, looking like, he looked like Adam McGrady out there yesterday. But anyway, man, y'all make sure to get up with your boy on social media at Radical underscore creator. That's Twitter and Instagram. And until next time. Peace. To get there, playing hard, and uh, be able to get my first bucket. So, yeah, it was yeah, cool. I was just shoot a shot because I had the first uh, opportunity. Kobe told me shoot your shot, and I just shoot my shot, and it went in. So I was happy. Yeah, I played a lot of NBA games, and you know I was telling him he got one of the prettiest shots in the world, man. If you see him shoot, it's his form and everything is is perfect. So you know I'm very happy for him. You know, hopefully he gets some more time to be able to do that. Hopefully he gets some time where we're the team that's winning, you know, and it's not a blowout situation. So um, you know, I'm, I'm extremely happy for him. He's been working his butt off, you know, especially in practice. He brings it every day. So, uh, you know, you can see a lot more for that.